We'll get uh, eight on. Mr. Graywell. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for the witnesses for coming today. Uh, I think it's a testament to our democracy that Dan Kelly and Toby Sanger can sit right beside each other and, uh, and have a, a passionate discussion about the government's proposed tax changes. Um, I wanted to start off uh, with Portia and Mark. You mentioned uh, the TFW program. I want to get your feedback on how the government can improve that because changes have been made. And we understand that, you know, uh, there's a labor shortage in, in Canada and there's challenges with that. Um, just get your opinion really quickly on what we can do to make the process a little bit easier. Um, okay, so a few, uh, a few thoughts on that. Um, certainly interdepartmental uh, advisory council so that the different uh, departments can work together to prioritize agriculture. The temporary foreign worker program started in the agriculture industry. It's the biggest user of the program and uh, the use of the program is a, quite a disjointed process right now. It's quite confusing for employers to use and there um, really is a need for some kind of overview and uh, a research into the program in order to consolidate, consolidate it, streamline it, so that it works for this industry. It works for primary production and processing. Thank you. Um, I really appreciate your feedback and we'll definitely take it back to, to the ministers in charge to make sure for the next season uh, that uh, it's more accessible, it's more transparent, uh, and results oriented because we need to ensure that we can support our local farmers and you know when they benefit all of Canada benefits as well. Um, Mr. Kelly, uh, I really appreciate your presentation and your slide deck here. Uh, it, it takes me back to my business school days. Um, the one thing I did find interesting was that um, how are your questions asked to your, your methodology on your survey? Because sure. uh, if you ask a small business owner, and, and I go back to my corporate law days, uh, the one thing, number one thing I would complain about is taxes too because, you know, I'm in my own business and I want to make more money at the end of the day. Uh, so just a little bit of the methodology on how these, how these facts are being presented to us. Today. Sure. The, uh, the sample size, I believe, was almost 9,000 businesses for a survey that was done over, uh, over the, a couple of days. It was an online survey of our membership. What we did is, uh, because there are a lot of businesses that aren't particularly familiar with the details of these proposed changes, we provided a two-page backgrounder that we had passed by uh, tax professionals to ensure the information was accurate, put that in front of our members, uh, also provided direct links to the federal government's consultation paper uh, if they wished to find out more, uh, and then asked the questions. The questions themselves are worded exactly as they are on the slide. I, I get uh, the concern that no business likes to pay taxes. Uh, that's absolutely true. Uh, business owners, Canadians in general, complain and grumble about the taxes that they are paying. This, though, is a little bit different. And, uh, and, that's, and, that's, and that's why I think we wanted to share the data as, as we have. I appreciate that. Sorry not to, to cut you off. I, my no. time's kind of limited. Can you send us the two-pager? Absolutely. Sent to yes, your, we're happy to, send it to, happy our, to do our that. committee. Yep. It'd be great to look at. For sure. Um, uh, I just wanted to uh, say that, uh, uh, Toby, thank you so much for uh, reiterating the fact that there's a lot of misinformation going on outside about the proposed. And I want to highlight the word proposed tax changes because there is a government consultation going on. Um, so let's go back to, you know, why we're here for, for Budget 2018. Toby, what do you think is the number one thing that the Government of Canada can do in Budget 2018 that can uh, further our economic growth for all Canadians? Uh, um, as, as I mentioned in the presentation, I think uh, uh, in, increased investments in areas such as childcare. Uh, I'm glad, really glad that the government made, made that commitment uh, um, in the last budget, but I think most people agree that it wasn't enough. That we that, that we that it's going to cost a lot more to have uh, an accessible, quality, and affordable childcare program. Uh, Quebec's had a great experience on that. Uh, that's uh, th that's one area, and uh, and I agree with uh, and in terms of um, two other areas in terms of healthcare, uh, pharma care program or. or uh, uh, um, prescription, uh, necessary uh, dr drug prescription program um, that could um, save money, actually, reduce costs uh, by tr controlling the cost of, uh, of, of, 
uh, of medicines. And then thirdly, uh, I, I think there's uh, much more that needs to be done in terms of uh, residential care. And senior strategy, very glad to see the CMA emphasize that as well. Thank you. Uh, a little short. bit more time. Thank you, Mr. Chair. You're very generous with my time today. Um, my last question is to Restaurants Canada. Uh, I think everybody at this table agrees uh, about your contribution, your members' contributions uh, to the Canadian economy. Um, one thing uh, I wanted to make sure is that you understood is that the tax changes uh, are on a going forward basis. So if you can communicate proposed tax changes are on a going forward basis uh, and won't affect uh, prior. Um, one thing I was interested in knowing was that uh, you said that a lot of families uh, run restaurants, which is true. Um, and then the proposed income sprinkling uh, will take away from an inability, an ability of a son or daughter or husband, wife to work at a business. Uh, there will just be a, a reasonableness test uh, assigned towards it. Uh, now, the details of that test have not been outlined yet, and that's why we're having a consultation. And democracy works best when we have this conversation, and hopefully we'll come together to a, a new proposal. So I just wanted to, to provide you with that information to pass on to your members. I used to work at Pepsi. It was my first job. Uh, so I have a, a soft spot in my heart for your industry. Uh, and so thank you so much, and, and uh, we'll look forward to uh, reviewing uh, the rest of your proposal. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Mr. Commissioner.